Hey guys, welcome to tonight's stream. I think, she says, I have everything I need. Pretty sure I don't need anything I have forgotten. another brush just in case so I'm probably just going to get on with it to be honest as I don't know how quick um, the I'm live has gone out to everybody so I'm just going to do my normal shares and then we'll crack on with it um, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to do like a glaze and I'm not 100% sure whether my glaze is too watery but it has to be watery enough that I can get it down into all the divots and things like that and I forgot to change the I don't think I can change it now no I have to change it later um okay what am I doing I am posting out I made a thumbnail for tonight. That's really annoying. Um, Twitter. I'm not going to bother putting it on Pinterest until I've sorted out the thumbnail because that's pointless. And then just on my page of course you are welcome to share out if you think you know anybody that it's of interest to okay i'm thinking i'm going to do a magpie next one decided I've got loads of stuff I need to get done, so I'm going to have to be really, really good. But you know, I nearly posted it to the wrong page there. Oopsie daisy. Oh, most certainly. Thank you. Yes. No, you can turn that one off. Um, this is my night off, trust me. I haven't been able to be creative in two days. So this is for me, it's not for anyone else, I promise. Um, okay, let's just crack on. I don't even know if the brush I'm using is right. It's pretty claggy, to be honest. I've got a couple of brushes. Sorry, you're going to hear the kettle boiling. That looks like it's got stuff on it. When I watched the... I think that's going to be too big she used like a really rough brush and i don't know whether mine's going to be rough enough basically it's going to be small enough to just get in in all the cracks i'm wondering i've got this hasn't been um uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It hasn't been painted, so it's probably not going to work the same. But I just want to... That might be good enough. Oh, do you know what? We're just going to do it. Just going to see what happens. Hey, Maggie. I have got a wet towel because it might be better, but... I don't know. I'm going to try this stupid, ridiculously big brush first and see what happens. And I'm going to try the watery glaze first as well. I've chosen it purposely, the same colour as my background, because then I don't care if I glaze over the back. Can I just say that's a really lush colour? My favourite colour, I think, when it comes to paints and pencils. 
because it's quite watery I'm quite tempted to just it's got a really light layer of um, gesso on it hi Vicky um, so I have I'm going to do it in the opposite direction I have no idea how this is going to come out I'm going to need my cloth to be honest. I think the tissue is a bit too pinchy. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a bit better. I can get a, a bit more rougher with it actually. I can clean off this backboard a bit. It's actually quite surprising how strong it is. I think this is going to be a pretty short live feed. You want it pretty clean on the top because you want a real contrast between where you've put the paint. And the paper. I might leave his wings purposely a bit darker though. You can also use rubbing alcohol over the top. Which is side note, I won't have to keep going over your camera view, will I? Sorry about that noise. I'm going to have to sort my desk out at some point because every time it creaks, it reverbs right through that microphone. like that what do you think guys let me zoom you in a bit quite tempted to resin his eyes I don't know yet. I need to go over it a couple of times just to really get that top layer off. I don't know if I finished what I was saying earlier, but yes, you, you can go over it with rubbing alcohol. I'm a bit concerned about his feathers around his beak, so. I need to be really, really careful. So the gesso's there to give you a more of a resistant top coat so the paint doesn't soak so far into the paper. But I've purposely, especially on the trees, actually kept it not all gessoed. So... Um, so I could, whatever the word is I'm thinking of, so I could just see the difference really and just experiment with it. And I thought it would be nice just so it wasn't all the same. So you feel it's getting wet again, which it will, of course, because I'm going over it with water. But he's looking quite splendid. These divots in here have worked. Oh, coffee's going to be far too hot. These divots in here have worked really, really well. Have you missed a load, Wendy? Okay. Just 
just need to really get that colour in all those nooks and crannies. Even up in that peak there. Flooded it a bit there, but hey ho. Um, I had to flatten my board in the end where it started to uh, warp, which I knew it would. I just sprayed to the back of the board, had it over a tile and then had two tiles on top of that and then had my kettlebells on it. Now I'm really tempted for the moon to actually colour it gold or silver. What do you guys think? Psychology moment here, look. What do you see? So I'm just getting the main excess off and then I can start to work on it. I'm probably going to leave that to a degree because I don't want to spoil the detail around his beak. You only want a damp towel as well, you don't want a really wet one otherwise you're just going to pretty much take off what you've put on and ideally you want to keep all those bits on the inside. Oh, that's good. Yes, time seems to be the enemy at the moment. Depending on the piece that you're doing, you could always do a light sanding over the top, depending on what it is. I wouldn't do it on here, but... Really do like that effect though. So what do you reckon about the moon? Silver, gold or keep it this the same colour as the owl? I'm going to leave this. I'm not going to do anything to this. Yeah, I'm, th I'm thinking gold. Nice and light down that centre bit. There we go, there we go, that's what I wanted. I'm 
not rubbing very hard but I'm, I've got a little bit of pressure on there definitely need to do those eyes I think we'll give it a go and then if it looks not so great then I'll undo it Oh dear, there seems to be a lot of problems at the minute. Right, we'll do one, see what it looks like. Yeah, I think I think it's good enough like that. What do you think? I need a couple of coats because I say I'm, I'm just using the glaze. I'm going to have to keep this glaze, I think, for any other projects that I do. Because it's such a nice colour. I'm quite tempted to put a little bit more just down in these. Seems to have wiped out quite easily. Much better. Probably could have done with a heavier coating of um, oh, brains of all my function today. What's the word? Just want to bring his, the tops of these ears out a little bit more. There we go. Okay, let's get another. It's just watered down acrylic, so it's like a like an acrylic wash. Um, so it's the same colour that I've painted the back board in which is Payne's grey which I like because it has a really cold blue tone to it so yeah I've just watered it down and done it in a light wash now you're getting the lights hitting it in various places at the moment so it's his eyes probably are looking a bit strange Point there. I think we need to include that on that eye. I think he's looking really lovely though. I am quite tempted just on the outside of his wing, this just on the outer bit, keeping that a darker colour. Oh, 
why he gets a bit lost now, doesn't he, in that background. Bad idea. Inside probably would have been better, but then it will look odd, I think. Okay, I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, so gold, what? I do know, but I have a feeling I've left it in the kitchen. No, it's all right. Okay. I have no idea how this is going to work because they are water-based. All we can do is try. all over my desk for clean up tomorrow. I feel I want something more I don't know, sparkly. Oh no, don't get me started. Uh oh. Oh what did I look in here for? Okay, if I want to do it gold, I really want to do it so it sings. And I'm not sure that that is going to sing, whether that would. Okay, so this is what I'm looking at. Let me turn the autofocus on. This is what I'm looking at. The good old gold that I've used on a lot of previous paintings where I've wanted some shimmer. But I also have this gold which is a metallic gold rather than a shimmery gold. And then I've just remembered that I've got these. And this, this one here, this one here is screaming at me to be used between these two. What do you think? I know there's a delay, so I'm going to wait. But tell me, guys. Which one? These are acrylic. So these will have much la much lasting. These will probably last a little bit longer. This is water based, so it may not last as long. But yeah, I'm liking that. While YouTube catches up and you guys are considering, I'm just going to do the trees, I think. I've got quite a lot still on my brush. I didn't think I'd need a lot and I ended up making loads. Works really well with that background, doesn't it? Definitely a good brush for the job as well, I think. One of them's gold. Ish. It says gold on the pot, what more do you want? So it's gonna be gold or um, it's really gotta be like gold leaf and I really will go down the gold leaf if I have to. But that means I've got to go rummage in my clay box because I don't think my gold leaf is actually near me. But I'm loving the turquoise. Turquoise, turquoise. Van desk. Gotta be blue, isn't it? Tidy up my back. See the joys of it being the same colour.
Good. I'm glad you all agree. It's made my day now, you see. One less thing to have to think about. I do for that? <laughs> My tissue has disappeared. What? Where? How? Oh. Okay, what can we see now? Oh, I see a person. How creepy is that? Eyes, nostril, mouth. Oh, that's weird. Ink blotters. Yes, I'm crazy. I am sort of hankering for the gold leaf, but I don't know where it is off the top of my head. So I could be rummaging for some time. I know where my silver is. Coffee man. Got his headphones in. Which means I have to throw something at his head. Because even saying I'm gonna have to throw something at his head Hasn't woken him up. What should we throw? Hmm. What should we throw? A little pencil. Let's not stab him in the back of the head. <laughs> Come so we'll have to throw something at you. What? Uh, one, two, third drawer down. In my clay drawers is a plastic bag with foils in it. Would you be able to possibly get them for me, please, dear husband of mine? Bounced off the back of his head, by the way. I should have found you from you. Panda lizard face, I'm confused. Where's this coming from? Thank you. Here you go, Here you go gold leaf. Made some glue now. Any opportunity to throw something at your head will is absolutely fine. Okay. You want a prick stick? A prick stick. <laughs> <laughs> and here's one I made earlier with stick? prick stick. <laughs> a cereal box and some elastic bands. <laughs> I don't actually know what I need. I've completely lost the plot. Where's the PVA gone? Yeah. It's not like my office is full of art supplies or anything. Oh, PVA. Ah, oh, gloss. Mm. Yeah, I don't think the PVA is good enough. PVA might be a bit pants. This might be a bit pants, people. It is one of them days, one of these days that can just disappear today. Some chili and fun time. But guess what did happen? What? I found the missing fur tutorial picture. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find. Maggie will go, oh yeah, you put it there. It's getting hot now. I'm trying to find texture paste. Did you take it home with you, Maggie? <laughs> Pea shooter. Yeah, I should actually. I have some texture paste, which probably would have been good for the... I don't know whether the gold leaf's going to work, but... We'll try. I'm just trying to be a bit careful on some of these... Oh, by the way, the we had some shrinkage, so I had to do a little bit of fixing here and there, um, and I still haven't actually glued it down, so I'm going to wait until it's all done, and, and then I'll glue it. Um, but we had shrinkage, so this actually came all the way down to about here, so all this has been added on. There was shrinkage in 
one of these bits that bit i think it was and then there was a little bit in the ears so we had to add someone in there as well so bear that in mind wendy when you do yours I'll have to test the gold leaf out. You almost need a cloth with a bit of texture. Like a really light sanded, like an emery board, I suppose. ruining my emery board hey ho all in the name of art a bit more pressure on here because it is a lot flatter than the owl so I can get away with it do you think I might leave it's given that tree a bit of roundness hasn't it I think okay I don't know what I'm doing with this gold leaf I am first of all going to do the blue because it's happening and gold and blue are really nice So this is a De La Rowney liquid acrylic. I have no idea if this is going to work. Get it in the gaps. Plan is is to then wash it off the gaps and put the gold leaf over the top. As we all know, my plans don't always go as planned. So hopefully I can lift Yes, it's, um, it dampens the area as you would imagine because the gesso of course creates a protective seal. Um, so it, it's, it's sort of getting wet again I suppose or wetter than it, it would be if you didn't have the gesso because of course gesso gives it that seal doesn't it. Now you can't see that very well because you've got a big horrible light glaring on it and I don't know which one, it's probably the one above me. So let me turn it and see, can you see that? There we go. 
put it on autofocus. It's got a glow around it where the mica has gone onto that backboard, which is not a problem. I really don't know how this gold leaf's going to go. Where's my Maggie? I need her to tell me what to do. I'm not sure PVA is going to cut it. Maybe prick stick was a good idea. I actually keep thinking masking fluid, but masking fluid is just going to peel off. So nervous, I don't know what to do. Why am I shaking PVA? Is it time for bed yet? Ah, oh, it's all pink. I wonder who had the PVA last. And I'm washing my brush out in the glaze. Yep, I'm glad the coffee's not here. But I've just put a bit of PVA on. On the tissue and I'm going to brush it and I'm just going to do a little area and see what happens. I'm wondering if I should have used glossy accents because I think that dries quicker. What's the worst that can happen? Ha ha. I'm not too fussed about going absolutely everywhere. Colour does help lift the whole thing though. Yeah, I've never actually got hold of any size which doesn't help. It's not proper gold leaf, so I didn't know whether that would make a huge amount of difference or not. I don't know. pretty thin so it's going to get tacky pretty quickly so we'll just try it oh one sheet will do the whole do the whole of the moon I nearly cracked out into song then See, normal gold leaf would have just fallen apart by now. It's just, this is really strong stuff. Gold leaf, anyone? Get off my finger. Just, I'm just seeing. Just give me a bit of a stuck my finger again. Mm, possibly. Nope. 
see when I'm too thin. Tell you what, I'm just going to brush it off and whatever's left on is whatever's left on. I think my sil silver silver leaf is aluminium and it's much thinner so it breaks much easier um, whereas of course because these aren't real they're much harder to just want to get it out the divot area as long as it's on the top I don't mind that it's rough don't want it in the divots. Sorry, camera's having a fit. There we go. I really like that. Give it a just giving it a hard push down. Mm -hmm. There's the stuff gets everywhere <laughs> and it just blows everywhere. Good brush up there, haven't I? Where is my not ideal, but so out of interest. You see, there we go. I'll let that do its thing. So, do you know what you're doing for your first one, Wendy? Hard. They stick to each other. Arr. Can't just leave it at paint, can you, Benita? Nope, you have to go all out and make him all glittery and blingy and make your life harder. Just a bit. It needs to be a little bit rougher in areas. Just don't want it too smooth. Nice. Yeah, that'd be nice. Okay. Let's 
that really makes that moon sing actually I love it on my beak okay there is gold leaf everywhere I know exactly what's going to happen so I'm going to attempt to like nobody sneeze it's in the towel hopefully I can just over the bin anyway there it's, that's the most I can zoom out well, we've got some acrylic on there god damn it Yeah, I like it on his beak. I think it looks nice. Okay, so last thing then is stars. It looks really nice on that moon. Can you see that? I like that. The whole effect, I think, has just lifted it. Oh, look at his eyes there they look like they're concave that's weird concave yes but they're not we know that they're convex yeah i like that okay stars i think that well no it might not be too big Get out of it. Hi, Doris. Oh, yeah, they work really well, don't they, in the silicone moulds? I'll try not to be too even. I've got my large pen and my small pen. Sporadic. Keep focusing my hand. Oops, <laughs> that could have been a shooting star. I don't think we're going to need any of the thinner one. Oh, I don't know. I'm not even going to say what I'm doing. Just, I just need to try. If it fails miserably, then. So be it. Oh, that saves me a job. Do 
doesn't seem to go in the divots as well. I don't know whether that's because of the brush. But I like the subtle colour that it's given me. Yeah, it's the brush, I think. I know you can barely see it, but it's given it such a gentle, subtle colour. It's just lifted it a little bit. Oh, I've put the brush in the blooming glue, haven't I? I wonder why my hand was sticky. I don't know the best way of showing you to get the colour. Oh, 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 that might be a little bit of an improvement. You see that? Don't get your sleeve in it, Benita. I'm just turning it all, all the lighting down a bit. Ah, oh, that gold on his beak just sings. Yeah, so there's like, I use the gold, but it's, I've just realised what I've done there, but it's just given it a yellow tint. Basically, my stars are now all looking like they're shooting down. Hey ho. Gold leaf in there is determined to stay there. This is a much finer tip. I think I shall have to set this one in a frame and pop him up for sale. This is rather splendid. I think he deserves a loving home. Done. 
think he's done. Yeah, that gold is just mwah, on his beak. That all just works perfectly. So yeah, hopefully you can see you can see that colour. It's just enough to tint it. That bark looks incredible actually. I'm really pleased with that. The only the only thing that I would say I'm probably not 100% happy with is his eyes. Yeah, I'm loving that moon. Yeah, his eyes, probably the only thing that... I don't know whether I... I don't know, maybe it's because they're not round, I don't know. <laughs> I've got you all singing now. Well, it's definitely going to be a one-off because I won't be scanning him in a hurry, will I? I can take a picture, but... Definitely won't be scanning. I'm trying to think if I want to highlight in that eye, but I just think it'll look... Yeah, I'm, tr I'm trying to decide... I, do you know, I nearly, I might do resin. What do you think, Maggie? Let me put a glint in his eye, because that can wipe off. But I'm thinking resin. I think the contrast in the mixed media would actually be really nice. I think a glint works well on that eye, not on this one. And you can't, believe it or not, you can't really have a glint in the same or the opposite place oh, on the other eye because it means then that you've got conflicting light sources. I am thinking resin. I'm off to get the resin. Stained. That's no good. Okay. Oh, sorry, it's because I've moved that one. I'm going to turn that off. Okay. I have glossy accents. But you can't, we can get it to dome, but resin would be the quicker way of doing it. Let's just. I hope I don't mess up. For the sake of my sanity. Right, 
Right, first of all, I don't want to blind you, so I'm going to do a quick test with the blue light against the camera. That's fine. Okay. Uh, let's. Tell it where I want it to go. Please. Okay, it's a tiny bit of excess. Under here. It'll do. God, I can't believe how little I put on there, and it's been a pain in the ass. Um, resin goes a really, really long way. Sorry, I've gone really quiet. I'm just trying to concentrate on making sure that it, there's none where I don't want it. And it's better to do that now. Don't try and do it afterwards. This is fun, a bit mixed media. Oh, there's that smell. What? You want a smell? Yeah. <laughs> the resin going. Now he's got a glint in his eye. Now he's got a glint. Right, I'm putting it on the glass this time because there's less of an area to have to put it in. get a little bit of sandpaper on that other one because I've just done it like this just 
what I was going to do in the first place. But as we all know, today's gone pretty um, tragically wrong. So oh, we might as well continue on into the evening. For those of you that don't know, it's UV resin and does what it says on the tin, it doesn't need mixing and it sets under UV light so you can either set it under a torch um, or you can set it under the sun but it's much quicker with a torch uh, which means that small areas can be resined and done and solid in a matter of seconds. That's got something on it a blooming gold leaf oh, God, so <laughs> the light is really bad I'm just trying to see because there was something on it I've had to scratch it off which means I've now got to do another very light coating of resin. Resin generally self levels as well so as long as you've got enough on there. So the UV resin is great for small projects. One more dose on there. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, this stuff stinks though. I think gel polish generally doesn't smell as bad. Um, and also the heat. Some do because um, I've had gel polish done before and you get that spike of heat and resin is exactly the same so as soon as that UV hits it it gets really really hot and it sets um, so certainly when you're doing items the items can get very very hot Maggie would you resin his beak over the top of that gold or just leave it as his eyes He's definitely got a glint in there now, isn't he? I can't stand the smell. Oh, it's made my chest hurt before where I've done a day of it. You've got to get a decent, decent-ish version. Um, otherwise, some can stay tacky. But yeah, they're they're really good. should be plenty of time really for today anyway my lid is a disgrace so yeah there's um you can get flexible uv resin as well which is really weird um, but it always comes in black obviously because the sun will set it but that I think has done a magnificent job on his eyes and all in all I'm pretty blooming happy with that actually oh yes we've got a little bit of excess in here I'm not particularly happy with but I think we could easily 
get that out especially as it's on paper I think that would be quite easy to it is haha -ha. that's good to know oh you just yes Paper's going to take a, a while to dry again, so don't expect it to be all finished and done straight away. You're very late, lovely. Did you ask me something, Kettle's on? Uh, I did, but I can't actually remember what now. His beak! Do you think I should do his beak? Should I resin his beak? And have it as just as beautiful and shiny as it. Look at them eyes. Look. Look at those beauties. Okay, so we've got a bit of resin under there. You can't actually see it when you look at it. You can only see it down the camera. That doesn't make sense. There. I like how easy this is to undo. It's really easy to tidy up. There, can you see there? Must be that pit. I don't think I could do a huge. Oh, that'll do the. No, there's a hair on it. Get off, get off. That's not resin in, so that should. Come on. I don't want to keep scratching the resin. Son of a gun. Just scratching underneath his eye, and it's mat mattify there, look, like mattifying it. Mattifying it? That's the word, isn't it? Okay, so that's got rid of that shine. We've got a little bit on the inside, like Lindy said, that I'm not particularly. There we go, there, yeah, I think. Probably have to tackle this in the morning, to be honest, because my eyes aren't seeing it all. There's blue glitter in there from somewhere. I think that's really made it on his eyes. Okay, so no resin on the beat. We'll just leave him gold. That's it, then he's done. Could probably do with, although I've blown pretty much all the gold away. Sticky desk now. Of gold in the towel somewhere. Packed it 
put it away that neatly I can't even find it anymore Like that'll do him fiddling. I'm pretty happy with him. There you have it. Painting paper clay and resin and everything else we had a go at. And my desk is an absolute trash site and I really can't be bothered to tidy it up tonight. Which is not good because it's a state. Um, I've got to find a home for that. <laughs> oh, why can't I have someone to tidy it all up for me? It's not fair. Right, let's do our last ink blot test, shall we? What can you see in that? Mm, rubbish, that's what I see in that. I see a wolf. See a wolf? I see a wolf. Yes. He's looking for a home now, so if anybody is interested, come message me. You'll find me either in my Facebook group, comment below, whatever you find easy. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up please, because we all know how much YouTube loves the thumbs up, and so do I. And uh, yeah. Fur Friday is coming. I have kept this a secret until now. I have not filmed them all yet, but there are nearly 800 that I will be doing. 800? Nearly 100 that I will be doing. So every Friday there will be a new fur, skin, scale, feather, animal coating. Uh, tutorial every Friday uh, the first one up is on Friday and I've done it as a premiere so hopefully I'll see you all there there's three recorded already so that's three weeks worth um, so keep your eye out for that if you are new to watching me don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell button because you don't get notified otherwise if you have to press all um, but yeah thank you very much for joining me on this chaotic but fun evening and uh yeah i shall see you on the other side bye guys <laughs>